Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Buffaloes will get us underway with the opening kickoff. And he'll bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Florida State Seminoles offense will get the first possession of the game. And this guy is a big-time star. Just an electricity follows him onto the field. He's a workhorse, too, Reese. This is a definition of a bell cow running back. He can carry the load for his offense and put his football team on his back. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll go right back to the run. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. Didn't take long to need a crutch play on the opening drive. It's third and seven. It'll be a draw. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stopped. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Looking to throw. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the Seminoles are moving quickly down the field. Takes the handoff. It's to a Feely. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. I just love the way the defense prepares. Each and every week we see this defense come out. It's like 11 guys, they've got their head in the game, and they're playing as one unit. They knew it was going to be tough facing this option game with the quarterback and, and the running attack, but they've just done such a good job so far staying home, playing their assignments. You saw it on that last play right there. Rallying to the football, nowhere for him to go and creating a big loss. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage and they've got it on the 22. Convert that third down on the slant. Now everybody sort of settles into the game. Yeah, you do have nerves. I mean, everybody does. Opening drive, that you watched film, and how good are they really? And you get that first, first down. You throw the quick timing slant. Now everybody settle in. We're good. We got this. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And you got to love this if you're the defensive coordinator because your defense stayed disciplined. They didn't over-pursue to the running back. They stayed home, played great with their eyes, and they were able to make the tackle. Did a speed bump on that last play. Now work to do on second and 15. To the air. It's Uyunga Lele. Quickly complete. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. 
I really like this slot receiver, and I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Off the play fake. Got it on the outside. It's Morlock. No first down. That's fine. We got the completion. We had a successful play, and it sets up now a fourth down situation where, yes, I'm going for it. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Between the uprights, it's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense has its first opportunity of the day. One thing to watch, can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy, that's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game-breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him, hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there off. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry-up. Hand off from the gun. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Back to throw, it's Sanders. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. They move the tight end all over. He'll pull it on the read. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Quarterbacks generally, guys, we know, they're not as big and not as physical runners as running backs. So it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going. But moving forward, let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. The Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. And a precision punt there will pin them deep inside their own 10-yard line. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Finds a little bit of room, picks up four out to the 13. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. It's a reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. You know, as an offense, oftentimes you try the reverse play because you're trying to take advantage of a defense over pursuing and by a lot of defensive team speed. Didn't work right there. Great discipline by this defense. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. He'll off one deep down the left side. It's complete. A huge pickup. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, no. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. 
Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, th th that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field, and my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. Well, the defense needs to find a way to slow this guy down. We're only in the first quarter, and already this guy has over 100 yards receiving. They have got to find an answer for him. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the capper coming on an electrifying pass play that covered 93 yards to the house. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Horn. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. They go to the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Back to throw. It's Sanders. Complete to the left. And he's still running after the move. Hit the afterburners, kid. He's at the 10. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Colorado. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And boy, did they finish with a huge play in the passing game, scoring from 85 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Trying play action. Got him downfield. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Much of this Seminole foundation was built around great quarterback play. Some legends at that position. Some awesome guys that spread it around to elite playmakers. And it's just a great history at Florida State. They've been up and down in the recent history, but this team back in the day, man, dope was rocking. Everybody wanted to be a Florida State Seminole. 
And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He'll try to pop the draw. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Renegade would be proud of the way they're using those horses to move it on the ground. Yeah, get the horsepower going. And, man, they've had some serious backs over the years at Florida State. And you think about all the talent, all the swag over the years. you got to get back to that, find those guys that they can really attach this offense to and thrive. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Wide receiver shows motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He has the first and still on his feet. And he's brought down after a nice game. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. The give is to Williams. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. The linebacker comes free. Bim and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Now facing a third and long. Back to throw. It's Uyangalale. Fires to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. And third down is money down. I got to have guys that come up big and really nice job of understanding where I'm out on the field to make sure I keep that foot in bounds and get the big first down. The Seminoles have it with a first and ten. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Fast motion from the offense. The gift to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. They've methodically worked the ball down the field. 11th way of the drive coming up, but this one third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes his connection. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Well, if you're trying to throw these curl routes against zone coverage, you've got to have great timing. Nice job there by the quarterback, understanding where he wanted to go with it, but also the conviction. Did you see the arm talent on that throw? Here comes the field goal unit. He'll boot it from the left side, and from this distance, that angle ought to be fairly easy. Oh, the attempt is no good. Guys, a missed opportunity there. The lead is still three. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Buffalo's hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. 
Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounce, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollard. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. They'll go to the counter play. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. They'll try to run for it. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Now he's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle, it's Horn. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. Run crisp routes. You can throw it short, you can throw it long, but they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. To the air, it's Sanders. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. All kinds of running room. Touchdown, Bucks! What a grab and go for the score. Timing and better execution, that is just what a quarterback and wide receiver need. And it's timing, it's route running, right? You gotta be precise, you gotta know exactly what yard you're running to. The quarterback receiver on the same page, that's why you get the touchdown. attempt to try and the extra point is good and it's a four-point lead a very efficient five-play scoring drive and they finish things off with a big play 68 yards on the touchdown pass kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go here he comes from inside his own five he was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Looking to go up top on first down. It's complete to the right. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. To the air. It's Uyunglele. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. With the catch, it's Douglas. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. Defense calls a quick timeout there, perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. The Knowles line up to punt it away. 
He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Makes a move. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Saw spot in the middle. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, this offense has come out slinging the bill. They are throwing it. They are trying to be aggressive. We're only in the second quarter, guys. Already, this guy has over 200 yards passing. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Passes incomplete. The clock is down to nine. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. And they make the play to stop the scoring opportunity just before the end of the half. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw... Think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, yeoman's work so far today in Boulder, and welcome in to the halftime update. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. And it's intercepted! A turnover for the defense. He was thinking big return, didn't get that, but boy, did he give his offense an opportunity at the 31. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. First down here for the offense. They'll run it to the right side. Pulled down after a pickup of four to the 27. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tighter. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Worked it down to the 22-yard line, giving five on the carry. 
think you run that call on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. Oh, and the attempt is no good. And it is still a four-point deficit. I wonder if mechanically something is off with this kicker. That's now his second missed field goal of the day. And guys, we've got almost perfect conditions to kick the football. I'm not sure what's going on. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Power football with the run. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's Sanders. He's got his man. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. He's going to pass. It's complete to the left. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. When you run those routes, those curl routes just like that, those DBs are going to break when you go to throw the football. So you better put that thing on a line. And the QB did there. Put it on the line. Great job. Great catch. First down. And the Buffaloes have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. They're trying to get to it. And they got him for the sack. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play-action attempt. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. The give to the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Caught over the middle. It's Horn. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. The ball squirts free. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Looking for room. It's Hayden. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Oh, 
Might as well give it to him again. Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Just when they're looking run, now up top. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo! This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense, too. If I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, it's a 21-10 game. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside the 10, here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Now they'll run the draw. Powers through the defender. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give is to Williams. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third and long, he has to throw for it. They'll run the screen. Makes a man miss. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. The Seminoles will snap it on first and ten. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Turns it on at midfield. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. I bet that running back's eyes got so big. When he gets that handoff going to the right and he sees the huge holes, yes, please. The defense just didn't flow quickly enough. All of the blockers had leverage on their men. Man, that defensive line has to get off the ball a little bit better, get some penetration to stop that outside run. And the Knolls are flying down the field. They're getting this guy lathered up. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. He'll do it himself. Got the first down and more. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. 
Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Tosses it incomplete. Couldn't make the play on first down. They'll try it again. Second and ten from the 27. Oh, it's a reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Great discipline by the backside of the defense. This is my gap. This is where I'm supposed to be. If the ball goes away, so be it. I got to stay home, stays home, makes a great play for a loss. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. They're bringing heat. Going to take his fires into traffic. It's picked off. Got room on the return. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. The Buffaloes in the hurry up. From the gun, the running back has it. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football, and the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Wants to throw on first down. Got a man. It's Hunter. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. It's first down from the 37-yard line. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. It's pretty clear he didn't care about the double coverage. He thought his guy was better than their two guys. Well, and there's reason to think that. That dude's a stud, and, and I understand it. I, I want to find ways to get him the football, but when it's two-on-one, I might think about looking somewhere else. And back to the air on second down. Oh, goes right through his hands, and he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. Come on, alligator arms. I know you're running over the middle of the field, but do your quarterback a favor and just make the play. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And under critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. And the Buffaloes getting set on first and ten. He wants to throw. Release to the back. He's got it. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Colorado! Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, and he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that. They'll bring it out to the 25. Looking downfield, it's Uyangalale. Got it set up on the outside. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Set up for second and short after that completion. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. He wants to throw here on second down. Pulls it in. It's Hill. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. It's a draw. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. The Seminoles want to move quickly. Dropping back, it's Uyangalale. Working that left side now. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Offense threatening. First and 10 from the 31. Looking to move it through the air. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. After the misconnection, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. And be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Grab near the marker. It's Douglas. Tackled, but he has a first down. And the offense has found a lot of success throwing to this guy out of the slot. He's done a nice job working the middle of the field, winning his one-on-one -on -one matchups. And this quarterback really feels a good rhythm when he's looking his way. And the Seminoles will have it first and ten. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. They're in the red zone, first and ten from the 20. Looking to throw it again. 
grabbed behind the line. It's Toa Feely. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. On the move, it's Uyunga Lale. Let's it go to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. A shot toward the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game playing all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Snags it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Seminoles. Nice job by the offense, going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. Lining up to add another. And they make the extra point to draw closer. It's 28-17. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the running game has collapsed so far on this drive, and now it's third down. Using his legs, it's Hayden. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. 